Alexander Zverev versus Kasper Ruud is the second semi-final for the men's French Open for 2024. Both players have been impressive to get to this stage. Ruud entered the tournament as the number seven seed and will take on the qualifier Alves in the first round. There's no problem getting through in straights. 6-3, 6-4, 6-3. In the second round, he'd take on Fakina, a man that he played a five-setter against a few years back. And this is no different. After splitting the first four sets, Ruud would eventually win in five. 7-6, 1-6, 6-3, 4-6, 6-3. In the third round, he'd take on the 28 seed Echeverry, who made the quarterfinals here last year. And after dropping the second set, Ruud would eventually Win in four. 6 4 1 6 6 2 6 2. In the fourth round, he'd take on Fritz, the 12th seed, who had just played a five setter against Kokonakis in the previous round. And after splitting the first two sets, Rude would get through in four. 7 6 3 6 6 4 6 2 to advance to the quarterfinals. In the quarterfinals, Rude was supposed to play Djokovic, the number one seed, who was coming off two five set epics. But unfortunately, Djokovic got a knee injury and would be forced to retire, handing Rude the walkover to get to the semifinals. So we're the tournament as a number four seed, and we'll take on Nadal in the first round. And after a close second set, we'd get through in straight. 6-3, 7-6, 6-3. In the second round, he'd take on Goffin. And after a close first set, we'd get through in straight. 7-6, 6-2, 6-2. Third round, he'd take on Griegsball, the 26th seed. And this was a battle. After going down a double break in the fifth, Zverev would fight back to win. 3-6, 6-4, 6-2, 4-6, 7-6. Six. In the fourth round, he'd take on Runa, the 13th seed, who had his own battles along the way to get to this stage. And after splitting the first four sets, Zverev would run away with the fifth. 4-6, 6-1, 5-7, 7 6-6-2 to advance to the quarterfinals. In the quarterfinals, Zverev would take on Diminor, the number 11 seed. A man he'd beaten seven out of nine times in their careers. And this was no different. Was Zverev fighting back in the second to win in straights? 6-4, 7-6, 6-4 to advance to the semifinals. These guys have played four times before with the head-to-head split down the middle, 2-2. And Rude having won their last two matches, including the semifinals here last year, where Rude destroyed Zverev. So, it's going to be really interested to see how Zverev looks 12 months later after that loss against Rude this time last year. If Rude's going to win this one, he needs to be aggressive and push Zverev around like he has been doing in their previous meetings. Move Zverev around because Zverev might be a little bit tired after playing so much tennis. And of course, Rude didn't play a quarterfinal. So he got a day off. He got more time off. He's going to be feeling the fresh of the two. So make Zverev move and try and drag the rallies out. And the longer the match goes, the better for Rude. If Zverev's going to win this one, he needs to be aggressive and shorten the points. Hit big serves and try and push Rude around and hit the winners as well. That's the easiest said than done because Rude's very good defensively. But... If Zverev can shorten those points and try and prevent a long match, that'll be the best for him because the longer the match goes, the harder it's going to get, especially coming off so many long matches lately. What a great matchup. Love this rematch. I kind of can't believe they haven't played for 12 months, but I go with Zverev in this one in four sets. I reckon he gets it done. He gets maybe the first set. Maybe they split the first two sets. Zverev gets the third and then gets the fourth and gets out of here with enough energy to spare, but let me know down in the comments below who's making the final.